Bonjour, Émilie Talpin, OM System Ambassador. Thank you so much for joining me this Sunday on a new adventure on the channel. I got a lot of questions from you guys about diffusers. And this month is all about macro photography on OM System. So I thought it's the perfect time to show you how to make your own macro diffuser. So let's get started. When I started with macro photography, I started uh, by buying, so I had the Mark III at the time, and I bought the 60 millimeter macro, which is this one, and also uh, the FL700, also this flash, which I still have uh, today. Really, this is my favorite combo, and now uh, my Mark III has been replaced by the OM1. And one thing that I was really missing was a diffuser. And I thought it would be a good project to build my own diffuser with some really, really simple product that you probably already have at home. So if you don't want to invest a lot of money in a diffuser, then I'm going to teach you how to make your own diffuser. It's a cool thing to, uh, to do. And you'll see the big difference between using, uh, a flash without a diffuser and also a flash with a diffuser. I actually made a video to show you why you really need a diffuser. So please, if you don't have a diffuser, if you don't want to invest in the diffuser, make your own diffuser. So what do we need to get started? Number one, a pen. Yes, you need a pen because we're going to draw lines. And talking about lines, you need a ruler. So hopefully, you have those two at home and also other products that you should have inside your home are glue and tapes. And this is just normal tape. And uh, I also use black tape. You don't have to, but it kind of looks a little nicer on your diffuser. So if you have black tapes, I would really recommend using it. And if you don't have, just go and, you know, buy a little black tape like this. Um, just to make your end product look better and then also darker. If you have a little bit of light coming through, it's not the end of the world, but it's better to have, you know, everything uh, in black. If you don't have black tape, uh, you can use also the brown tape. It works pretty well. See this one? I have a mix uh, of uh, black and brown. Now, it's time to go to your kitchen because you will also need some aluminum foil. We'll need it for the inside of the diffuser. And obviously, to make your diffuser, you will need some cardboard. So hopefully you have a cardboard box lying around. Otherwise, you can go to your uh, grocery store and ask if they would let you use some cardboard. Or if you want to be a bit more fancy, uh, especially if it rains, maybe you don't want your cardboard to be wet. If you're not going to put this type of tape all around, then you can get what's called a plastic corrugated sheet. And uh, that's what it looks like. This is what I use to make my diffuser. It's pretty easy to cut. And talking about cutting, you will also need a knife. Probably have one also in the kitchen. And one little extra thing is an elastic, just a simple elastic. Maybe you have some uh, grocery product that came with an elastic, recycle it. And while you are in the kitchen, make sure that you are gonna go and get one sheet of towel paper. Uh, that will be used to uh, diffuse the light. That's what I'm using. I think it diffuses the light pretty well. It's cheap, it's easy to replace, So, and you can find this everywhere if you're traveling and um, you see mine. Uh, I got a hole because I got a little too close in uh, one of the bush. I was photographing a uh, ladybug and uh, I unfortunately had a little accident. It's not a problem. I can replace it uh, with an other uh, paper towel. So now that we have all those things with us, we're ready to start. You want a clean slate. So maybe, you know, make sure that you are in a space with like an empty space, an empty table. 
And then what you want to do is cut your cardboard. I'm going to give you right now on the screen the dimension for uh, the four different pieces that you'll need to cut. It's tailored for the 700 flash with the 60 millimeter macro and uh, either the Mark III or the uh, OM1. Try it. If it doesn't work for your combo, then readjust. It's only a uh, cardboard, so uh, you know, it's a first try and I had to do a couple of tries before I find a shape that I thought would work well. So you have two options. Either you lay the cardboard and you start your measurement and start cutting, or you can also use some uh, paper, thin piece of paper and do all your measurements and then you can put them on uh, your cardboard and then do the cut. That's one method. Now that I have all the dimension on my cardboard, I'm going to go and cut it. So here we go. My first piece, uh, pretty simple. And then just continue and this piece will be repeated. And I have my four pieces together. So top, bottom, and then uh, those will be the sides. So now what you want to do is take your aluminum foil and then take a sheet of aluminum foil Oops. and this one, Oops, I cut it, no, perfect dimension. So once this is done, what I want to do is I want to take the glue and then apply the glue here. Here we go. And then I am going to put this aluminum foil here and I'm gonna let it dry. And I'm gonna do the same with all the other cardboard that I just cut. Once this is all done, you wanna be very careful and you wanna go back and take your scissor and then cut all around, okay? So here we go, I'm cutting just the shape. And actually it doesn't matter here if you don't have any aluminum foil, it's completely fine. But you see, I'm not doing like the perfect job, but it's okay. I just want something to reflect inside, bounce the light inside the diffuser. So I'm going to do the same process with all my other cardboard box. When the process is done, when they all have aluminum foil on each side, you want to put them together. So you just take some tapes and then just tape them together. Uh, again, you can do one tape, but you can also double your tape. You want it to be very solid. So I'm probably going to add some on the side as well. So I would recommend started by the top here and then uh, putting the two sides on. And after that, you want to add the uh, bottom part. The bottom part is going to be the hardest to tape and you might have to twist a few things. So here we go. It's put together. You see, I have a little bit of opening, so I'm going to continue to tape all around and add some extra tape. I really like the black tape because the black tape, it feels just more solid. So what I would recommend you to do is put black tapes all around. But first, just the white tape and just go uh, over all the corners and uh, go uh, diagonal and horizontal, just extra, extra. And you need also to try it before you completely finish this task. Make sure that it will fit. So you need to uh, test it out. Uh, see here, it's a little like tough, but okay, no, it works. This is working because it's stopping right here. You can see it's not going over my lens and I will readjust it with the elastic as well. Okay, so now this is what you should have. Uh, maybe black if you use the black tape or if you use the uh, plastic corrugated sheet. The inside, you can see uh, you've already covered it with aluminum foil so that your light is diffused better. 
And then you see, I really, really increase uh, the border. I have a lot of tape that's holding my diffuser together. This is not moving. This is really, really strong. And what I did to be able to fix my, uh, here, my diffuser to my flash is I took my scissor and I drilled a hole. And then I use my elastic and I just decided to go with one little tied here. And once that was done, I just put it through and then put it through on the second side. So you want a hole here and a hole here. This is the top, this is the bottom. If that helps you, you can write it down. I wrote top, bottom on each. And uh, this will help you secure your brand new diffuser that you made yourself and you're probably pretty proud. So this, there's something really satisfying about making your own diffuser. So you see here, now it's holding my uh, diffuser in place. Uh, and then if this is getting too old, you can just change it. It's just a piece of elastic. And now what's missing is the paper towel for the diffusion. So I'm gonna take my paper towel and you don't have, you can just, you know, take this out. And now all you have to do is basically tape it around and you don't need all this. So just, you know, cut only, use only what you need. So here I'm gonna cut it here because that's all I need. Here we go. And now again, I'm gonna use this white tape and I'm gonna tape it all around. Pretty simple process. Okay, let's start here. we go you got yourself a little diffuser and you're ready to go and shoot some awesome macro photography with a better light diffusion which will make your photo way better than if you're not using a diffuser so that's pretty straightforward it's something really fun to do especially if it's raining outside so a good little weekend project and so i hope this video was informative and uh, let me know in the comments if you own a diffuser, if you made your own diffuser, if you're thinking of trying my homemade diffuser. Uh, I can't wait to talk to you about this. And maybe you're also using something different than a paper towel. There are a few different things that we could use to diffuse. I thought that paper towel actually diffused the light pretty well. So that's why I decided to use. And that's something I have in my kitchen. So. I just wanted to use things that I already own. I didn't want to go and invest uh, in uh, more uh, product. So uh, thank you so much again for watching this video. Thank you so much for all your support. I'm really looking forward to this week's discussion. Uh, and uh, I hope you have a good week of shooting ahead. And I will see you next weekend. Au revoir. <music>